The 295th Sunflower Showdown on the hardwood turned to the Little Apple tonight as both teams had some trouble putting the ball in the basket. Under a minute and a half to go in the first half, and yep, that score is correct. Marcus Garrett to Jalen Wilson. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the first three-pointer of the game right there, putting KU up six at this point. K-State would hang around early in the second half. Good defense translating to offense right here for the Cats as Nigel Pack sinks the J in transition right here to bring K-State within four. But the Jayhawks would get things rolling from there as Garrett sinks three of his team high 14 points as KU gets the win in this one 59 to 41. I think we're defending the heart better. And we're not rebounding the ball like I think we can, but, but uh, you know, I think our ball screen coverage is better, even though it wasn't fantastic tonight. It wasn't bad. It's pretty simple. You're, you go 0 for 19 from three before you hit one. Um, I thought we had some of the most open shots we've had maybe all year. And uh, we just did not, we couldn't make them. Well, the 41 points by the cast tonight marks their lowest offensive output in the Bruce Weber era. Well, back here at home, Dale Faber manning the sidelines one last time at the Garvey Center for the Friends men's basketball team. Faber announced last month that he would be retiring at the end of the season after 18 years. Now, his Falcon squad could not send him out with the W in his last home game as Kansas Wesleyan would end up winning 69 to 64. Rivalry showdown in the air capital with Capen and Bishop Carroll going head to head. Alex Littlejohn sharing the sugar tonight, this time to Enrique Langford for the triple. Now try and keep up with me right here. Ethan Stolsitz to Will Ancio under the rim, swatted by Littlejohn. Langford takes on the dribble and trips Blake Janicek. He finds it. And how about some redemption back where they started? Ancio getting the bucket right here. But Bishop Carroll, they get the win on senior night, 62 to 45. Well, the Shockers are looking to make a little noise in the back half of the regular season, and what better way to do so than take down the top dog in the conference. Wichita State welcomes sixth-ranked Houston to Charles Koch Arena Thursday night in their final regular season showdown. Now, the first one saw the Cougs snag a 70-63 win in H-Town, a game that saw the Shockers up 10 points, 35-25 before Houston turned up the heat the rest of the way. Now, interim head coach Isaac Brown spoke about what his squad has looked to correct from their last meeting heading into their tilt at the roundhouse. We took three or four shots that were just in and out, and they came down and made some tough ones, but I felt that we settled for threes. The ball never got in the paint, so we got to do a better job when we're not making shots to try to throw it inside to Mars or Pooh Bear try to drive the basketball. We got to get better shots. Well, that game will tip off at 6 o'clock. Stay with us. More after the break.